Hello, hello, hello. Texas Garden Girl Anissa here. Whew, kind of tired. Just got in from Home Depot and now I guess I'll shoot a little brief video of this destruction back here caused by the snowstorm. And boy, it, it, it looks so horrible back here. My garden used to be so cute and lush and green and beautiful and tasty. And now, oh my goodness, look at that. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Everything, well, you know what? A bunch of onions. Those are some survivors. They came are coming back rather. I did nothing to my sage. So that's a soldier right there. Look at all that. Oh my goodness. All it did, it did. Well, I'm not going to pull it up yet, but looking kind of deadish to me. Okay, so we're going to move on. Oh, look at that. That look like a stick that I stuck in some dirt. All my little pepper plants. But the lemon thyme in just these few days is coming on back like the onions. I'm not gonna show all these containers uh, containers of onions because I have so many. Uh and right here. This I have lemon balm and bee balm sharing a container and it was like all brown and dead looking now i'm noticing that either that top layer is what saved it will save them or they literally have bounced back within these few days because uh, they're coming on up um, what else? Yeah, lemon balm, bee balm, lemon thyme, sage, um, the bunching onions, and everything else is, oh yeah, I forgot, that's a little bee balm too, it's coming back, yeah, and everything else is a graveyard, so, I kind of sold out a little bit, you know. Went to, <laughs> I went to Home Depot and, and got some stuff that, cause I don't, I need my, my herbs like right now. You know, I need some kind of instant gratification. And I don't want to keep going to the store and buying it when I can be growing it. So I went and got some things. This is just what one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven things over here. What is this? Oh, I got three of these chamomile. Three chamomiles. I got some Greek oregano, sweet mint, peppermint, um, Thai hot peppers, uh, sweet red onion and the oak leaf lettuce then we can move over here to the other side of my yard excuse my yard i gotta clean it but in the midst of all that devastation we were not worried about how the yard looked what i got here curled parsley peppermint i had to go in on the um Rosemary because that's one of my favorites. Boil it up, make me some tea. Um, Greek oregano. Went ahead and got some kale. Back there I got some purple, um, purple basil, which is my favorite. I prefer it over the sweet basil. Um, sweet mint. Sweet red onions. Ooh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Bunching onions, 
and a banana pepper plant. So I'm going to be potting all this up today and tomorrow. That's what I say. I hope I get it all done. I got a lot of pots out here and a lot of soil to amend. Oh, it looks so terrible. I don't even want to show the fence line. It used to be so beautiful over there, but it is like, I don't know. Everything's dead in the containers and the neighbor squirrels have came over and did their little thing. And yeah, it's real ugly, but I'm gonna work my magic, get it together. And I predict that my spring garden is going to be popping. Yep. It's going to be popping. So, yeah. <sighs> Even the I had some Malabar spinach over here, out there, and it, it might come back, but mm, I don't know. We shall see. I'm not going to do anything with the dead plants or dead looking plants just yet. I'm, I'm going to hold out and, and see, see what happens, but yeah, probably all the peppers are dead. But I'm not going to buy any pepper plants just yet. And because I know that they germinate pretty slowly, I'm probably going to end up buying, um, buying some starts. But what I'll do is wait till they go on clearance. Because today all this, I think I got about almost close to 20 plants and it was Ooh, a whopping 80 bucks for things that I started for literally pennies last spring so yeah that <sighs> well I think I'm gonna wrap this video up thank you all for viewing once again this is Texas Garden Girl Anissa and that's what it do. Bye now.